As an entrepreneur, especially if you're in startup, you get all caught up in how things could be on operations and staff and this and that. And meanwhile, you're not making any money. You need to focus on sales and you need to focus on marketing. But the question is, when you're in startup, which one is more important? The answer, of course, is both. It's always both. What you really need is revenue. And the only way to get revenue is to get customers. So should you focus on sales? Should you focus on marketing? It 100% depends on the type of business you wanna build and the areas that you're struggling the most. You know, most entrepreneurs fall into the camp that they're most comfortable with. If you're really great at marketing, meaning generating leads, generating interest, having people hit your site, well then you're gonna be able to crush it in that department. But you're gonna waste all of your money and all of your efforts if you don't have sales. And if you're building up a sales team or you're really great on the phone or in front of people, then you're not doing everything that you could be doing. You're not living up to your full potential and filling up your funnel because you're not doing a great job on the marketing side of things. And so this is something that almost all entrepreneurs and business owners overlook, the importance of both of these areas. But I'm an amazing salesperson when I'm across from someone. The problem is I don't have enough meetings. I'm not spending enough time speaking to people. The top of my funnel, the top of my lead generation just isn't enough. And so if people come to me, if I get a referral, I'm gonna crush it. I'm gonna do an amazing job at it because I'm great at sales, but my marketing isn't doing what it needs to do. And then there's a whole other group of people, and maybe you're like this, where you love being on social, you have great ads, you're spending money on, on AdWords or on Facebook, and you're generating the leads, and you have a great website, but then you somehow expect that every sale will come without having to have the conversation, or you, you don't wanna share your phone number or make things easy for people. You just want a streamless process where the sales just kind of happen. And so you have an amazing lead generation campaign and system, but you're not closing the deals, in which case you're wasting potential and money because you could just do so much better if you just focused on both areas in your business. So the question becomes, where should I start? I got marketing on this side, I got sales on this side. I can't do both. I don't have enough time, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough skill sets. How do I win at both of these areas? For me, I'm a linear thinker. So I would start at the top and I would work my way down. Could you build up sales without any marketing? Sure, but then people are sitting on their hands. And so for me, I would start with marketing. I would start with building a brand and finding the advertising channels and tactics and methods that work to drive interest. And then once they start to hit our site, I would work at fixing conversion so that way more people are contacting us or moving forward through the sales funnel. And then if we needed a sales tool, like a demo or like a guided conversation or a meeting, I would then work on developing those tools. And then in the meeting or on the phone or speaking to the rep, I would then start to work on creating better sales structures better sales scripts, hiring better salespeople if you can't do it yourself. And so I would start at the top and I would work my way down every single step, increasing conversions and making sure that you're not wasting spend because that's really what it's all about. Like you're wasting time, you're wasting money because you're doing all of these activities up here and you're losing them all down here. And so for me, I would follow a more traditional funnel, fixing advertising, fixing the marketing, fixing the landing pages and the conversions, fixing the contract, fixing onboarding, all the way through the process, right through to customer service. That's what I would do. But you have to ask yourself, what do you suck at, really? What are the things you're crushing and what are the things you suck at? If you're great at sales, then of course fix marketing. If you're great at marketing, then start to work through this process the way that I've suggested. But you can't build a lasting business without both. You can go straight from marketing to customer service if you're e-commerce. There's always gonna be a sales methodology in there. So there's no getting around that. And even if you don't wanna do any marketing at all, you wanna build a zero marketing business only through customer service and word of mouth and repeat clients, there's still marketing in there, right? You're doing your sales, you're doing your customer service, but there's still gonna be an element of marketing there, which is the brand building side of things. So there's just no getting around this. And that is actually the takeaway from this. When I started by saying, should we invest here or here? And the answer is both. The answer is always both. And in your startup, in your business, 
you're gonna be stretched thin. And so what you need to do though, is not just chase the area that you're most comfortable in. You can't just go to the thing that you're naturally the best at and ignore everything else. You need to put the time or the energy or the money to be able to build up those other things that you're not great at. It's gonna take one of those things, your time, your focus, or your money. But your business deserves experts and that level of delivery at every single step. Not only your business, but your customers as well. So look at your business, the things that you crush and the things that you're not so great at. And if you're like me, start at the top of the process and work through every single step and get better at it all the way from the first point of contact right through to repeat customers. Because guess what? Every aspect of your business, everything is sales and marketing all wrapped in to one. The answer is both. <clears throat> Sorry. If you want more sales and marketing tips, check out this video right here. I think you'd like it a lot. And I would appreciate it if you subscribed to my channel.